again, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the Corona Cocktail Hour. Hope everybody's doing well. Today, we're going to make something called a Pisco Sour. Uh, Pisco is basically a liqueur that is made from a wine, basically. Uh, it's usually made in Peru or Chile. Uh, this happens to be one from uh, Peru. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the cocktail. We're going to take our glass, and to that we are going to use two ounces of the Pisco. Got two ounce jigger here, just like this. Okay, to that, woo, we're gonna try to keep the lid on. And then we're gonna use one egg white. We're going like that. And then we are gonna take one half ounce of simple syrup, just like that. This is just sugar and water, simple syrup. And then, we're going to use one ounce of lime, or actually lemon juice in this case. And just like that, set that aside. Our simple syrup. And then we're going to do a dry shake with this. So a dry shake is basically when you shake it without any ice in it. Uh, what happens there, it gets the, um, it gets the uh, egg whites to work and basically work themselves into a really thick foam. And this is kind of a foamy drink that you want. So we're going to give it a good shake, a good dry shake. And you want to do it vigorously. Okay, gets those, ooh, good catch. Gets those, um, those uh, proteins working in the egg. And then we're going to do this, we're actually going to take ice. And we're going to go ahead and shake it again with some ice. Put that in there like that. Make sure she popped in there pretty good. And give it a good shake. Get it nice and cold. We'll pop that out. Just like that, hopefully. There we go. That one worked out against me there. And then we are going to strain it into a coupe. Coupe is our smaller, almost like a champagne glass. And then we're going to strain it, sorry, into a coupe. Just like that. Then we're going to take some good old fashioned bitters. And we're just going to put like three or four drops in there. Just like that. If you really want to go crazy, you can actually smear and make them like little hearts. But there you have it, the Pisco Sour. Foam on the top. You get the little tight, the bite of the uh, bitters in there. We'll take a sip. Mmm. It's a nice cocktail. It's the, the lemon juice is a good tartness. It's almost like a wine. It's like a distilled wine. But you, you sort of still get the, the flavor of the wine in there. It's actually a nice little cocktail. Real smooth with the egg whites. Well, the Pisco Sour, well, boop, 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 bonus cocktail. Now, one of the other things you can do with Pisco is something called a Cupid's Cup. And we're just going to take our shaker again here. And again, we're going to use an egg white in there. We are going to use one and a half ounces of the Pisco. So I'm actually going to use a three quarter ounce jigger here. And give you two of those, just like that. They go in like that, and then we actually are going to use one ounce of of apparel, which is an Italian liqueur. Gives it sort of a red hue, like this. Here's the apparel. Then we're going to get one ounce of that into the cocktail shaker, just like that. And then again, one ounce of lemon juice which I think I have just about an ounce of lemon juice here. I'll throw that in there like that. And then we're gonna actually take one ounce of simple syrup, which we have right here. So maybe a little bit sweeter, just like that. And this one, we're not gonna dry shake. We're actually just gonna go ahead and shake it normally with ice. So we're gonna take some ice here, throw it in there. Get our shaker going. Nice and 
knock it apart here, just like that. And then we're going to strain into another coupe glass. So this is another one that has a coupe glass. We're going to go ahead and strain it just like this. Very pretty cocktail. Again, it has the foam from the egg whites. It's a little frothiness to it. And this one, we're not going to actually going to use the bitters, but we're going to just going to garnish just with a sprig of mint, just like this. And when you drink that, you should smell the mint when you, you drink it. So this is the Cupid's Cup. Let me take a sip. Hmm. It's a different kind of cocktail with an apparel. It actually gives it more of a fruity, sweeter taste, um, similar with the taste of the uh, of the uh, Pisco, but actually a little sweeter with the apparel. It's actually a nice little cocktail. So there you have it, the Pisco Sour and the Cupid's Cup. We hope you see you next time. If you like this video, go ahead and like or subscribe below, and we'll see you next time in the Corona Cocktail Hour. See you next time.